Welcome into Front Row with Drake Athletics. I'm Michael Admeyer, and we're lucky enough this evening to be joined by the head men's and women's basketball coaches, Darren DeVries and Jenny Baranchek. And we'll begin this evening with Darren DeVries. And coach, uh, for those that haven't been able to see the team this season because of COVID-19, the pandemic, and the rules within the NAP Center, how has this team been able to get off to such a, an historic start? Yeah, it's, it's been uh, unique in the way that, uh, you know, we've had to try to prepare just to get to games and uh, everything from, you know, the social distancing that we do in practice to separating chairs and wearing masks and wearing shields and the way we eat and, and separating the meals. Uh, it, it's been, uh, you know, something that our guys have really embraced because they want to play. So they've done everything they can to take every precaution and, and uh, use every protocol that we have in place to um, to try to prevent themselves from from catching COVID, and and because of that, uh, at least to this point, uh, we've been we've been pretty uh, pretty fortunate in the fact that that we haven't had any shutdowns, and we've been able to continue to practice and and so far play all the games that we've had scheduled. Momentum is so key for any basketball program. Back to back twenty one seasons for the first time in four decades. You're nearing your fiftieth career win, but how do you keep that momentum? through a season where there are no fans in the stands? Well, I think from uh, just our, our basketball standpoint is we just got to continue to build the culture that, that we've started a couple years ago. Um, and our guys are doing that. I really like um, the makeup of the guys we have in that locker room. Um, but then in addition to that, it, it's, it's continuing to keep the big picture in mind of where do we want this program to go, you know, and where we came from and, and where are we heading. And I think there's a lot of things that are involved with that. You know, it, it starts with the players and the coaches and, and then the administration, uh, everybody within the athletic department, obviously Drake University, um, and then everybody within the community. And, and we want to continue to engage all the people in the community. We want them to have a program that they're proud of and they enjoy, <clears throat> enjoy supporting and, and coming and watch play when, when that opportunity comes back again. Uh, so it's certainly something that um, we're excited about the direction. Uh, definitely not satisfied yet um, with with where we want to get to, uh, but we do have a lot of big goals and, and big plans for for the program and and some things that we're excited to continue to do from a fundraising standpoint with uh, some renovations within the NAP Center and our training rooms and and some things like that. Uh, but we've already got a lot of good things in place and, and we've added them adding them um, piece by piece. Uh, and it's, um, it's exciting, exciting for us as coaches and players, and hopefully the community's uh, excited about what they see and the direction of our program. All right, 2020 hasn't been all that bad. In fact, it's been somewhat of an exciting time in the DeVries household over the past few months with your son Tucker signing his letter of intent to play at Drake University and play for you. How exciting of a time has this been, welcoming in Tucker even more into the Drake basketball family? Yeah, it's it's been. Um, I mean, it's pretty pretty sur surreal for us as a family, and and for me as as a dad and a, and a coach to get the opportunity to to have your son play for you and 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 then get to experience college life with him, you know, and everything that goes with with college basketball, you know, from road trips to um, you know the games and and you know, practices every day that you just continue to get that interaction. And um, I can't wait for, for, for this opportunity. I, I know we're both excited about it. And uh, he's super excited to, to join uh, the guys that we have in this program. Uh, and um, I, I can't wait for next year to come and, and for us to get that journey started. All right, that's enough looking ahead. We still have a full season to go. Uh, what does a successful year look like for your team? Yeah, I, I think for us, uh, number one in this particular year, it's just to stay healthy, you know, and, and uh, continue to do all we can to, um, you know, keep our guys safe and, and keep them, um, you know, away from, you know, as the COVID virus as much as we can. And it's uh, it's not an easy task right now, you know, with it, it being so prevalent everywhere. But they've done an unbelievable job of that uh, to this point, and, and hopefully that will continue. So that's, that's our priority, number one. But – Outside of that, I think it's for us to continue to, to represent uh, Drake and, and this community in a way that makes them proud and uh, 
continue to pe compete at a high level. Um, you know, the wins and losses are, are going to be what they're going to be at the end of the year. As long as we continue to do things the way we feel they need to be done and our guys continue to remain unselfish and, and connected and together, um, I, I think, um, you know, the wins and losses will, will decide themselves. But I like this group. Uh, I, I think they're, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to watch. They're a lot of fun to be around every day. Uh, so at the end of the day, that's, um, that's all you can really ask is, is just enjoy it, enjoy the ride, enjoy the process, and, and hopefully at the end of the year, uh, the wins um, reflect the, the type of team that we have. All right, Coach, uh, appreciate your time, and best of luck this season. Now I'd like to welcome in the women's head coach, Jenny Baranchek. And Jenny, uh, what a unique year this is in, in many ways, not just because of COVID-19, but Becky Hittner and Sarah Ryan didn't walk through that door this year. And that means the makeup of the team is much different. Five games in now, do you feel like you have a, a sense of who your team is? Oh my gosh, yeah. No, this year has been totally crazy, but I love this team. It's been, it's been so fun. And you know, I think through all the challenges, you kind of, you kind of have to get to know each other a little bit better, right? Because there's just so much, there's so much adversity and so much challenge and so much unknown and uncertainty um, that you really get to dive in. And I think um, in these first probably, you know, few months at least, um, we've really spent a lot of time of really getting to know each other in terms of on the floor and as much off the floor as we can, obviously being really creative in that facet. Uh, but the on the floor in the last probably month or few weeks has been really fun for us for us to just to get to know each other and just get to play because there are so many unknowns, but there's also such there's such cool parts to that too. I love how much time you all spent in the off season, you know, the March through June period where it was all Zoom meetings. You guys spent a lot of time getting to know each other, really diving in. Uh, could you just kind of speak on behalf of that? Yeah, no, I'm really proud of, uh, of the senior class. I think they took a lot of initiative in, in making sure, because chemistry has always been our thing, chemistry and connection. And so um, for us to be able to um, have as much chemistry and connection, it, it really relies on, on the leadership of your team. And so I think our seniors did a really good job of, of keeping the team connected, even though we were in all different places, um, you know, all over the Midwest. And... Um, you know, but it was really, it was really neat. Anything from articles that we would read together to just deep conversations we needed to have on social justice um, to just fun conversations one-on-one. -on -one. And so I think all of that time that we were able to spend together um, has really led to this point to see really where, where you can start to see the progression on the floor as well. And I think, I think both are so, they're so fun and they're deep and they're really, really cool. The next couple of week will present some new challenges. You all just had finals, just wrapped up finals week with classes. And then Christmas is right around the corner. With, with, how, uh, with the COVID protocols, how much is that gonna look different this year? Yeah, so it's, everything has been so different, right? And you've just had to constantly adjust. You know, I mean, we're still, could potentially add another game to our schedule. So that's something that, you know, at this point in the year that never happens, right? Games don't get canceled and you don't just add games. So I think that part is, is a huge part. Obviously our whole conference schedule has changed. Um, and so we will be playing two games in two days and we'll be playing the same opponent in those two days. So that that is completely different. And so trying to manage all of those things, you know, even the holiday, typically we go, we go home for, you know, three to four days um, just to be able to kind of take a mental break, but also spend time with our families over the holidays. And that's going to look different this year. That won't happen either. And so, you know, there's, there's so many of those things um, that are just kind of ever changing, but uh, this team has been really special and they've just done a great job of being able to adapt and adjust. This year is one of the more unique seasons you've ever had as a head coach. It's year nine for you. Throughout yeah, you all of- you had to throw that in there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, yeah, a little, uh, it just shows, I mean, what you've done over the, the time period here, which is incredible. What are you most proud of during that stretch? Well, to still be here at year nine, I guess, you know, um, no, it's, it's been so fun to be able to, to still come to work every day and love what I get to do. And I think that's something that our chemistry and our culture continues to just get better and better. And 
I think about, you know, I love keeping in touch with, with all of our alums, which we do a really good job of that as well. Um, and I'm proud of all the things of their accomplishments. I think that's probably my greatest, um, my greatest accomplishment I feel like is, is looking at what these women are doing when they leave here. Um, and then the greatest thing on the floor is that the chemistry and the culture and the expectation just keeps going. And so you can, you can graduate legacy, uh, but you continue with more legacy. And I think that's really cool. It's a really cool standard. What does a successful 2020, 2021 season look like for you? We get to play games. We have fun. We continue to get better. Uh, we stay really aggressive and competitive. Um, and I think the biggest thing is, is we are Drake, and that's it. Jenny, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us on the front row. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go Bulldogs.